like flies to cow pies, crawling over every drop we ever used. We didn't have a lot of time. A lot of time? <laughs> Wrong. We don't have a little time. Look, I don't mean to be Mr. Naysay, but do you really think you got a chance in hell at getting at that thing before they find it? I don't know. But that won't stop her from trying. Come on, Ghost. It's crazy. Sparks, how long have you been operating on this ship? Three years. Then you ought to know by now. When she makes up her mind, you have one choice. You go with her, or you get the hell out of her way. Drop still clean. Niobe, this won't be easy. Thaddeus was my friend. I knew him. He never used a drop before. He didn't trust him. Whatever's in that box cost Thaddeus his life and the lives of his crew. And I have a feeling if we don't get to it first, it's gonna cost us a whole lot more. So are you red or blue on this? You know me, Niobe. It's not a choice. It's a way of life. Because I know how valued my opinion is on this ship, I won't bother to tell you that I think it's insane for you not to wait for a support team. And for the record, when I cart your bodies back to Zion, do you prefer cremation or the gardens? Sparks, your faith in us remains a source of personal inspiration. Well, I am what I am, and I do what I can. Then can you shut up and hit the button? Your wish, Captain. My captain is my keystroke colon double backslash execute command. Why do you do that? Do what? Check your guns. You never know. It's a program. They get loaded every time the exact same way. Hume teaches us that no matter how many times you drop a stone and it falls to the floor, you never know what'll happen the next time you drop it. It might fall to the floor, but then again, it might float to the ceiling. Past experience can never prove the future. So? So you never know. Here we go. <laughs> We're in. You got 10 minutes until the post office closes. There's a ton of heat in the area, but the package is still untouched. The box number is 731222. Got it. And hey, can you ask Ghost if he doesn't make it? Can I have his boots? <laughs> Inside or out. I'll get the package. Keep in touch.
going on? Did you hear about the TCS uh, report? The men's locker room? <laughs> we need help in here! What did you get today? What do you got in yours? We need help in here! <laughs> Starting trouble, huh? <laughs> Thank you. 
Security! I think they're expecting you. Cops are everywhere on that second floor. I'm calling your partner for backup. I thought secure. the forklift.
shit. Tear gas. Hard to breathe. It's really toxic. You gotta stay up high, away from that stuff. The cops are sealing the doors outside. Ghost is getting slowed down, so you're on your own for now. Don't try that with me. Sparks, the P.O. Box area is locked up tight. I don't see any way in. Yeah, I noticed that. And you didn't say anything. There's a red conveyor belt that runs above the main sorting area. It's down the hall and to the left of where you are now. Okay. Find a spot where you can get onto the belt and ride it until it takes you over the P.O. Box room. And no one's supposed to see me when I'm up there. Just act invisible.
What the hell happened to you? Ghost created a distraction for you. A distraction? Is there a part of the building he didn't set on fire? That is just what I'm checking out. The front out entrance now. is a no-go. Have I got an exit? Hold on, I'm looking at your options. Okay. You're not gonna like it. Hit me. Find the manager's office. It's near where you jumped out of the conveyor belt. On the second floor? That's the you're not gonna like it part. Just call me when you get there.
Oh. Mm -hmm. 